Welcome to Referencing Bytes. We've made these quick videos to help you to understand referencing at Bournemouth University. In this episode, we'll look at the idea of crediting others for work they've done and the main aims of referencing. We'll also look at how Harvard, or the author date method of referencing, helps to achieve those aims, and we'll introduce you to some useful guides that will help you to reference different types of information. Referencing can be time consuming and difficult. We'll show you ways to make it quicker and easier, but if we're going to all this effort to reference, it helps to understand why we're doing it. Take a moment now to think of reasons why it might be important to reference the work of others. You can click the pause button if you need a bit more time to think. One reason is to make it clear that you're not trying to take credit for other people's work. It's annoying when others take credit for your ideas, and the same goes for academic assignments. We're not saying that you shouldn't refer to other people's research and theories. In fact, it's the opposite. Your lecturers will want to see that you've read and understood the ideas of others. What's important is that any time you use someone else's idea, you need to give them credit for it. In academic work, taking credit for the work of other people is called plagiarism. In minor cases, for example, forgetting to reference a source you've used, this may just lose you marks on your assignment. In more extreme cases, plagiarism can be considered an academic offence and can have serious consequences. Apart from avoiding plagiarism, there are other good reasons to reference. Referencing your work properly helps your lecturers to see that you've used quality sources when researching your essay and how these have shaped your thinking about the subject. Sometimes the people marking your assignment might need to check that what you have said about a source is accurate. One of the main aims of referencing is to give them all the information they need to go and find your sources for themselves. This can also save you time when you need to refer back to work you've read before. If you've referenced all the details, like the author, title and edition, this makes it easy to find those documents again in the future. At Bournemouth, we use a style of referencing called the Harvard style, sometimes also known as the author date style. Each reference you create will consist of two parts. The first is called a citation in the text. This is basically a brief note that you add to your sentence to show that you're referring to somebody else's work and aren't trying to take credit for the idea yourself. The citation in the text always includes the author's surname and the year that the source was published. This is why it's sometimes called the author date method your lecturers will know the key authors for the subject and will often be able to tell from your author date citation if you've used a good source and also if the information is up to date. The citation in the text also directs the reader to the second part of your reference. This is much more detailed as it needs to give all the information someone would need if they wanted to find the source you've used. They might need to do this to check that what you've written about the source is accurate. You write these full references in a list at the end of your essay. We'll cover citation in the text and creating full references in much more detail in other videos. You can find guides on how to reference different sources on the referencing section of the Academic Skills tab of MyBU. From the Academic Skills tab, click on the link to referencing. The full downloadable PDF guide is a complete guide to referencing in the Harvard style and it's the standard to which your work will be marked. You may also find the quick guides useful. These give you worked examples of how to reference different types of information, for example, books, journals, or web pages. Most answers to referencing questions can be found within these guides. In this video, we've covered the main aims of referencing and the importance of avoiding plagiarism how the Harvard or author date method of referencing meets those aims, and we've shown you where you can access guides on referencing in the Harvard style. You can find further materials on referencing and plagiarism on the Academic Skills tab in MyBU. If you're struggling with referencing, you can email academicskills at bournemouth.ac.uk for further support.